like them in the beginning either but uh, it kind of gives me outlet to you know speak about things that I have currently on my mind or uh, things like that so this is another edition of Tingle and Rant so what am I going to talk about today I'm going to talk about something that is close to my heart and a big um, shall I say, interest of mine, which is the paranormal. And I have the Swedish snooze, so... Yeah. Well, I've always been fascinated by... Uh, mm, the paranormal, the supernatural... <coughs> Sorry. And... Uh, I often watch, you know, the... Uh, YouTube videos about ghosts and I watch paranormal TV shows like Ghost Hunters and uh, Ghost Adventures I think yeah now I'm also a big skeptic which means that if I can't see it for myself then I won't 100% believe it <laughs> um, well, I am going to insert some pictures into this video which I have taken myself, which um, could be classified as paranormal or supernatural, or it could, could just be glitches, it could be, uh, it could be uh, pareidolia which is when you see things that aren't there just because it's a familiar pattern so I will not say that it is paranormal now there are three pictures that I'm going to include in this video the first one is when I was out at night walking my dogs and I took a snapshot of one of my, one of my cats which was on this road and you can see his eyes clearly shine in the dark but there's also a pole, a light pole at the side of the road. And if you look up, I will try to do a kind of like a close up of that. You will also see a face which looks a lot like my old, old grandpa, Sven. And it could be pareidolia, it could be supernatural, I don't know. Uh, I will put this in about right now. Yeah, so go figure. The second one I'm going to put in was a picture that I took randomly with my new I iPhone. Sorry. And I was just lying in the pretty much dark and I was testing different filters and stuff. And I pointed my camera towards my window and I took a shot. And as you can clearly see it looks kind of like a face. With a mustache and hollowed out eyes which is pretty creepy so you go figure the third photo is from my sister's wedding at Maria church on the island and I don't think I need to explain what's in this picture now I have uh, had friends and people examine this photo uh, not uh, so it's not kind of like a double exposure but the figure behind my sister does not match her 
her uh, body or the way she's standing so yeah that's another picture that I want to show you okay that was some of the pictures I have taken which I cannot explain what's happening now with that said I also have a video a lot no, not a lot of videos, but I have videos in which they are kind of like orbs floating up. Now, I have never been a big orb believer. I think it's just dust or something. But, of course, the phenomena is pretty interesting because we can't never tell for sure unless we capture an orb and examine it in a, you know, uh, and see if it is a dust uh, little thing dust moy or if it actually is uh, I don't know ectoplasm spirit anyway mm, what I'm going to show you now isn't a ghost picture per se this was actually something that inspired me to do this video and it happened this morning when I woke up now mm, first of all uh, some background story I grew up with my grandma and grandpa on, on the countryside or on the island and um, I lived with them until they passed away. My grandma passed away from cancer and my granddad, I don't really know what he died from, old age maybe, sadness, I don't know. Anyway, I woke up this morning and the first thing that I do when I wake up is to take my uh, blood pressure medicine. Uh, which I have on the table next to my bed <laughs> and uh, what struck me this morning was that it was something a little bit strange because there was a photo on my desktop which I didn't put there I'm pretty sure I didn't put it there because uh, I don't even know where it came from. Uh, I haven't seen it in a while. And, uh, well, this is me and my grandma sitting on the porch outside my old house. And it was on the computer, my laptop. Did I say desktop before? Oh, never mind. It was on my laptop. I actually have no clue where it or how it got there because I don't have any shelves or anything it couldn't have fallen from and it sure didn't fall from the roof or did it we all have seen poltergeist right so very strange indeed I tried to think if I could accidentally have kind of like if it stuck on my finger when I was kind of like pulling stuff out from my drawer which is underneath my bed table but uh, it seems unlikely that it would just have come with me you know what I mean it's not that you just get stuck to a photograph and don't notice it <laughs> so yeah it's a bit odd but as I said I'm a skeptic and as far as I can tell I didn't see the photo manifest itself on my laptop <laughs> so it could have just been some odd thing that happened anyway it's uh, mind-boggling to think about the possibilities so uh, this was just a little short tingle and rant I didn't know if you got many tingles from this by the way but uh, <laughs> I uh, hope you at least got relaxed and kind of intrigued by my little story. <coughs> Sorry about that. So, with that said, I wish you uh, the bestest day you can have, or night if you're going to sleep. And uh, I will see you very soon in a new video, new roleplay, new tingle and rant or whatever I come up with. 
I just want to say that you mean a lot to me, every single one of my viewers. And remember, there can't be any light without.